Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. It's in here from DGC Hustle Help. And in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can get your hands on a business email, a professional business email through your domain provider. Okay, this is 100% free, 100% free professional email. And I showed you how you can set up this email through your Namescheap DNS. If you purchase your domain through Namescheap, then you, you need to watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description of this below this video. Okay, and as promised, uh, I'll show you guys today how to set it up if you have a domain with uh, GoDaddy. I'll show you exactly how to verify and integrate your Zoho mail into your DNS using GoDaddy. If you don't have a Zoho, a free Zoho mail account yet, I'll just briefly go through it and explain to you exactly how to set it up. If you don't have a GoDaddy uh, domain and you would like to purchase yourself a domain, this is very, very easy to set up. All you have to do is just go to the to the GoDaddy website. If you have an account with them, you can just sign in. If you don't have an account, I will show you exactly how to find and how to set up your, your domain, how to purchase your domain through GoDaddy. Okay, so uh, just click here on domains and you can search for a domain here. Okay, so you just click on this button, search for a domain. And once you've searched for a domain and it's available, you can create yourself an account. Um, I always use uh, my email to sign up for anything that I do, but this is entirely up to you. You can continue with your Facebook account or, or any one of your Google accounts. Okay, so the next step is just you have to fill in all your personal details, email, username and password, and then create an account. By creating an, an account, you automatically agree, agree to the terms and conditions and their privacy policy. Okay, this will take you to the next step where you have to verify your email and then your account is created. And like I mentioned, uh, you search for your uh, um, the domain name that you want for your business. In this case, I just choose one just to show you exactly how this works. Once you enter it, you say search for domain and the screen will pop up either this is available or not available. And the, this is the pricing. Okay, if you take the, the three-year plan, your first year will only be one cent. So it's 43.99 for the three year term, or you can just leave it at, at, uh, at one year and you'll pay 21.99. So $22 for your first year. And this includes your domain privacy, uh, which is free forever with your account. And also, uh, this is a new thing that they integrated. Um, it says here coming soon. So this is just a, a like a one page website. And also they, they integrated the pay link feature into all Dodi, GoDaddy accounts. So it's plain, plain straightforward to sign up. Okay. For Zoho, you just type in Zoho Mail. If you don't have an account, uh, type in Zoho Mail. The first um, search term or the first result that comes up, you can uh, click on that. That will take you to the Zoho Mail. And uh, I already have an account, so um, I'm already signed in. So here's all the features pricing. So if you click on the pricing, you will it will take you over to the pricing and you can see all the the different uh <coughs> pricing plans that they have available <coughs> sorry okay so uh but we are not going to use the pay plan we're going for 100 percent free so if you just scroll down on this page you'll come to a page or, or to a section that looks like this and you'll see this box okay um this is your forever free plan right this is for life and it shows you you can have up to five mailboxes five users with five gb each of storage space and an upload capacity of 25 gb so you just click on the try now button and it will take you to the uh, next page where you have to enter your name, your email and create the password and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. And then you just click the sign up button. On the next page uh, is where you have to uh, enter your ver verification, which they send to your email, the email that you use to sign up with. And all you have to do is enter the verification code and then verify and once you've done that your account is created and the next thing you'll see is the welcome message and this is where we're going to start today's video and i'll show you exactly how to integrate how to verify your domain because you need to prove that this domain belongs to you okay so you just click on the add new button and this is where you're going to add your domain the one that you purchased from godaddy or uh, whichever platform you're using okay <clears throat> so all you have to do is enter your your domain name here and provide your organization organization name and then you click add okay then it will tell you here that your domain has been added successfully okay so your domain is now uh, in the zoho mail system okay but now you have to proceed to verify your domain just to prove that this domain belongs to you and for that you'll go to the next page once you click on that uh, uh, verify domain you'll click on the next page and you'll see a page that looks like this okay over here you'll have a, a drop down menu uh, with a lot of options like the txt c name and html uh, it basically looks like this and to verify your domain they recommend that you use the txt record to verify your name okay so you just click on that and then this this little box here will, will pop up with a with a txt name and the txt value that you have to copy over to your godaddy uh your dns provider your godaddy okay so make sure you have this one open you have 
have uh, your Yellow Mail account, your dashboard open, and in another tab, open your your GoDaddy account because we'll be doing a lot of copying to and fro. Okay, so now you're in your your GoDaddy account. Okay, so over here you'll see your your domain name, your domain.com, and all you have to do is click on DNS, click on DNS, and it will take you to this page where you'll be adding your TXT record, which is available in your Zoho Mail account. So all you do is click on the Add button. This will take you to the next page, and you see here on type there's a drop down. Once you open that drop down, you have to click on Text Record TXT. Click on that, and then this page will open. Okay, this is where you're going to enter your your TXT record. Okay, so just make sure the type here is selected TXT, and in the first uh in the first space here where it says host, just place there the add sign. Just insert the add sign there, and the text value you'll copy copy from your from your Zoho account. Okay, so now you go back to your Zoho account, and this is the value that you're going to copy. <coughs> Sorry, in your text. Okay, so just click on the, the the copy sign there, and it will copy the text, and then you go back to sorry you go back to your um, domain uh, you go back to your GoDaddy website and you enter that value here, okay? And make sure you've entered it correctly. And the TTL, you just set the, this to a half an hour and then you click save. And that's it. Your TXT uh, record is added. Now, what you need to do is just go back to your Zoho mail account and then you click on the verify TXT record. And once you've verified, you will get a notification like this in your Zoho mail. You have now verified <coughs> your domain ownership. Now you can create uh, your email accounts. And like I mentioned, you have five email accounts that you can create like your name at your domain.com let's say for instance admin at your domain.com sales at your domain.com info at your domain.com whatever the case might be and uh, this is where you can create all your your uh, domain addresses okay so that's it now you've verified and you've created your 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 mailbox one two three four five whatever the case might be and <clears throat> now the next step we will have to configure the mail delivery or else you won't be able to receive or send any emails okay and that will do in the dns mapping okay and the first record that we are going to insert will be the mx record the mail exchanger record okay and what that basically is it uh, just uh, determines the the mail server that should be used to route your messages uh, for your domain and priority values help to route the emails back to the server in case of primary or undeliverable but that's that's what it's used for and these are the, the values that you will enter so basically there are three servers each with a different priority and we'll copy all three these servers okay so what we will do is we go back to our data godaddy account and the same under your dns click add which will take you to a next page like this in the type there's a drop down make sure you select the mx record the mx and this is where we go to start adding our mx records okay make sure this is on mx and uh you can you can insert the add symbol here and you will see now there's one extra extra space here where you can add a value we'll get to that in a moment okay so now what you want to do is you want to go back to your uh zoho mail and you will copy the first value you see the priority is 10 you copy the first value and you go back to your um your godaddy website and you enter that value here okay this is your first value your priority will be 10 and you set the dtl to half an hour and click save and this we are going to repeat for all the values so the next one you will you will go back here and you'll copy the next one which is mx2 you copy this and the priority is 20 and you enter 20 there and you do the same for the 50. so after each time you enter a value here you click save because you're going to have to uh, add a new one. So save, and then you just click on the add to uh, do the next one and make sure that uh, MX, uh, MX record is selected. And once this is done, everything is saved. All you have to do is go back here and you click verify MX record. And once you are verified, it will give you this screen just to confirm your domain MX record are now pointing to Zoho. Okay, so that means you've done everything correct. The next step is we will configure the SPF and the DKIM, the DKIM record, DKIM. Okay, what, what the SPF is, this is basically you add the SPF record to your domain's DNS settings and when an email is received, the recipient's mail server checks the SPF record to verify if the sender service is listed. If it's authorized, the email is accepted. If not, it may be rejected and it will go directly into the spam folder. Okay, so this is very important. If you want your emails not to land up in your recipient spam folder, then you need to complete these two steps. Okay, and this is how we do it. Okay, now you'll see we on the next step. It will it will automatically go over. Once you finish with the, your MX, it will automatically go over to this. If not, you can just select it. 
Okay, once you're here, you will see um, your SPF uh, value popping up here. Okay, so we're going to be doing exactly the same. We're going to go over to our GoDaddy website. We're going to click on the add button. We're going to click on the uh, type, the drop down, and here we're going to select a TXT. Okay, we're going to select a TXT field. Make sure it's TXT, and you want to want to come back here to your Zoho mail account and copy this value. Okay, and then over here again, same thing. You will place the add symbol here. You will copy the the S. SPF record the SPF value in here. You'll set the TTE to half an hour and you'll click on save. In the next, you go back, you verify it, and again, the screen will pop up to show you that your SPF record has now been verified and everything is okay. Okay, so then we go to the next one, which is your uh, domain key identification mail. And this is just a record that provides a public key that the recipient's email server used to check the authentication of the sender's email by matching it with a, with a private key by the sender. Okay, so this is the value that we're going to uh, be copying over to our GoDaddy website, okay, DNS. So same thing is we're going to add, we're going to click on the drop down, and we're going to select TXT again. Make sure you select TXT, which will take you to the next step. This time in the host, you don't put the add symbol, okay? You're going to put, you're going to copy this, okay, the TXT name, and that is what you are going to enter here. You are going to paste in here, and then the TXT value, which will be this value here. You just copy it there, and you go back to your GoDaddy website, and you paste that value. Yeah. Set the TTL to half an hour, and when that is done, you click on save. Go back, verify your DKIM record, and it will give you a screen like this, saying your DKIM record is for your domain is pointing to zero. And that's it. That's it. You're done. Okay, guys, if you found value from this uh, uh, video, this presentation, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.